Hello there, David Risley here with the Blog Marketing Academy with a new episode of Coffee Break Blogging. Today we're going to begin our series that I introduced in the last episode with we're going to talk about some of the bad habits that I see when people are making the transition from a 9 to 5 job to a your own business. And I want to start out with a question that perhaps you have said, something that you have said to yourself. Man, they appear to be doing so well. What's wrong with me? Is that something that you've ever said to yourself? Is this a pretty common thought that you've had? Because it's a common thought that I've seen a lot of other people have. You may see somebody that's in a bigger house than you have. Then look at your own and you wonder what went wrong. You may see somebody else with a nicer car that you have and wonder why you're driving around such an average vehicle, or so you think. And let's make this even more common. You're scrolling through Facebook and you're seeing pictures of people's parties and their vacations and their fancy meals. They seem to be living the high life. What's wrong with you? It's actually been proven through experiment that such use of social media actually helps further depression. People are actually unhappier due to social media in a lot of cases. On top of those comparisons, it doesn't help one bit that social media is also being used these days to divide people and stir them up. That's, of course, another discussion. I'm not going to get into that type of thing. But we know that one way or the other, social media is not exactly resulting in happiness for people. But if you're the kind of people who makes a happy of comparing yourself to other people, then you're more likely to find unhappiness breeding in you when you're active on social media. But let's bring this back into the world of online business because that's the world that we live in around here. When you want to make money online, one of the first things you often do is go to the internet and you search for how to make money online or how to make money blogging or something like this because you're trying to figure it out, right? And you come across people who are talking about those things, and often they talk about how much money they make. One example is Pat Flynn. Pat Flynn, a really great guy. I've hung out with him many times. He's from the blog at smartpassiveincome.com. Now, one of the things that he does, or at least has been doing, is publicly posting his monthly income reports. It's a popular feature of a site, and I've also seen many others do the same thing. In fact, years ago, I actually used to publish income reports as well, but then I stopped. Why did I stop doing it? It's because I believe it actually leads people into making comparisons between themselves and me, or in the case of Pat, between themselves and Pat. And it doesn't lead to good things for them. You get inspired by the money, and then the next move is to try to do what they have done instead of charting your own path. Instead of doing what you need to do, you're instead left trying to copy somebody else. And if you don't get the forward movement, it can become pretty deflating. You feel like, what am I missing? What's wrong with me? Plus, those income reports, they put the emphasis on the income only and not on what actually creates that income. So it puts it's just the wrong emphasis, the wrong thing that one's focusing on, which is delivering value to others. That's what is really important is the delivery. The money will then come. Pat Flynn does an awesome job of delivering a lot of value to his market. That's why he does the, the, the income that he does. It's not because of some magic pill that he took. So comparing yourself to others will almost naturally lead to this attitude of lacking Okay, your attention and your focus is on what you don't have, and you will inevitably get more of what you focus on. The ironic thing is that most of the time, these comparisons are based on an outright lie. Many of us have this tendency to assume that everybody else has it all figured out, but there's something different about us. It's as if we're wired to sit there and think badly about our own situation. I went to a party with my wife not too long ago, and put bluntly, they have a nicer home than we do. To me, that's not really that big of a deal, but to my wife, it actually is kind of a big deal. And the comparisons sort of kick in, but the funny thing is that at that same party, the owner of that house, which is a friend of ours, straight up told me that she was jealous of us, and the reason why is because we were able to take off in our motorhome for three months and go on this long trip around the country, and she was a little bit envious of our ability to do that, whereas my wife, quite frankly, was a little envious of her house. And so I just thought that was really interesting because both ladies were concentrating on what they didn't have 
but it, but it was dr being driven solely by a comparison. Now, I re realized this a long time ago. Most of those people with the super fly houses are not necessarily more successful. They just have a lot more debt. Almost all those fancier cars out there are just a bigger auto loan. In other words, those outward facing hallmarks of success judged by the objects they have in their possession are not always hallmarks of success at all. In many cases, they're just nooses that keep them from living life on their own terms. So all this to say that you can use others for ideas and for knowledge, but the only person that you should be comparing yourself to is yourself, your past self, and whether you are actually improving your own situation. Keep this in mind. What you see online is the public face. It's the public face that people are putting out there. You're essentially seeing their highlight reel. All right. Most people's social media feeds and their blogs are the equivalent of a movie's teaser reel. They'll show you the coolest scenes because they want you to go see the movie. But then sometimes when you see the real thing, it just doesn't quite live up to the hype of the preview. OK, that happens a lot with people's social media feeds and stuff like that. That perfect selfie never shows the ridiculous bullcrap that the person did to frame that shot to make you think that everything is awesome. In reality, they're sitting there in a crowd looking like an idiot, sticking a selfie stick up in the air. And it is funny because we travel a fair amount in the motorhome and I see a lot of these young kids taking selfies and I just giggle at them because it looks so ridiculous trying to reproduce some magazine glamour shot thinking it makes them look good for Instagram. It's really hilarious. So I'm going to end off just simply with this. Don't make the mistake of comparing your behind the scenes, which obviously you know very well, to everybody else's highlight reel because they've got their own behind the scenes too. They're just not showing it to you. Okay. Keep that in mind. Don't make the mistake of falling into a pit of endless comparisons to other people. The only people or only person you should be comparing to is your past self. I'll see you on the next episode where we'll continue on our series.